A North Texas attorney who admits he was at the Capitol yesterday when the protest turned into a riot has lost his job and there's no evidence he went into the Capitol, but his employer confirmed to Fox 4 his participation yesterday crossed the line. Fox 4's David Centendry has more. David. Yeah, Heather, that North Texas attorney posted video and photos while in the thick of those protests outside of the Capitol. Again, it is unclear whether or not he participated in the rioting. None of that is shown on his social media images, but his employer does tell us that because of the participation they did see, right now he is no longer employed. On the ballots. A North Texas attorney is no longer employed because of videos he shared on social media, which show him protesting outside the Capitol building Wednesday. The fact that they will not let us inspect any of the ballots or the machines should tell you something. Paul Davis is one of thousands who protested unsubstantiated claims of election fraud outside the Capitol. He says in a video he posted, he was trying to get inside. We're all trying to get into the Capitol to stop this. And this is what's happening. They're tear gassing us. A screen recording of Davis's video was posted to Twitter by journalist Roger Sollenberger, who writes for Salon out of Austin. Sollenberger identified Davis as Associate General Counsel at Goosehead Insurance. More than 1.7 million views later, Davis is out of a job. Goosehead Insurance, located in Westlake, on the border of Denton and Tarrant counties, pinned a tweet to its Twitter account Thursday afternoon saying, Paul Davis, Associate General Counsel, is no longer employed by Goosehead. Fox 4 called the company for more details. This is the voicemail we heard. Thank you for contacting Goosehead. The employee involved in the protest at the Capitol is no longer employed with us. The company later confirmed to Fox 4 that Davis is no longer employed because of his participation in the events at the Capitol. It's important to point out that from what Davis posted to social media, there is no evidence he committed a crime. We're all trying to get into the Capitol to stop this. Davis did say they were all trying to get into the Capitol, but Thursday, in a series of new posts, he says, in part, I was peacefully demonstrating. I was not trying to break in, was just talking to police officers and praying over them. The Twitter video is out of context. I'm not calling for violence here. I think MLK-style civil disobedience is the way to go to demand a full audit of the vote. All we're doing is demanding that our public officials audit the vote, audit the Dominion machines, audit the ballots. Again, it's unsubstantiated claims of election fraud that led to protests, riots, and chaos at the Capitol. We've reached out to Davis via several social media channels today, as well as several phone numbers, but at this time, we have not heard back.